Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill and in this video I'm having a problem with a desktop computer. And the desktop computer is an HP ProDesk 600. As you can see I'm, I'm in front of a monitor and the monitor is um, black. So I'm going to turn on the computer and as soon as I turn it on I see this message. Enter power on password. And as you, and as you can imagine I don't have the password. I'm going to try a few times. I don't know the password. I don't know what happened with this desktop computer. So I, we cannot do anything from here. We cannot do anything with software. We have to do something with hardware. So I'm going to shut down the computer because I cannot do anything. I cannot go to the BIOS. I cannot do anything. So allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera so you can see it better. So this is the case, well, part of the case. As you can see, I'm not wearing any jewelry or any watches. And I'm going to discharge myself of elect uh, static electricity that I might have in my body by touching the case. So, but before that, I'm going to show you how the computer looks. I took a picture. So there you go. It's kind of big. You can see my hand there. And this is an, uh, a, a desktop computer from, I believe, 2015. So it's a big computer. And the reason why I took a picture is because um, uh, the holder for my camera is not long enough, so I cannot take the entire device. So here I disconnect the power supply and I press the power button for around 10 seconds to get rid of the electricity storing the capacitors. So I open it and there we can see the motherboard in all its glory. So uh, as you can see in the top, we have the heatsink where the processor is. We can see the RAM modules. We have two at the moment. And then we can see the hard drive on the top left. I mean, top right. This is a Seagate, I believe, five, five 100 gigabytes and then we can see things like well all the cabling we can also see um, this is an HP you can see the logo there um, besides there is the CMOS battery and all that so what we need to do is reset the BIOS password or uh, most HP desktop computers have this button if you press it you are not going to delete the CMOS password you're going to delete the date and any configuration that you might have in the BIOS like you're going to reset it reset it to factory settings but the password is going to remain so if you press it to be honest it doesn't make a difference if you want to reset the BIOS password the one it's called the power on password but you cannot do anything if we don't have it so for that if we press that button doesn't make a difference but we have to look for a jumper so the jumper we're looking for it's over here and how we know is this the right jumper let me a few seconds so you can see it better that's all the zoom i have and it says psbwd so it this is the password reset so this jumper as you can see is, is green light green and we have to remove it from the motherboard so we have i have done this in many other videos i'm going to leave the link in the description below for different models that i might have uh well the different models i reset the password for so you just have to remove it very gently like that it's not difficult at all you don't even have to touch the motherboard in any in any way there's no need for that so i'm going to put it aside so i can remember so that's what we do and we don't we don't have to do any uh, depending on the model and on the brand of the manufacturer these two pins sometimes there are three pins but in this case there are only two there are in different places of the motherboard so you have to look for it okay so i'm going to turn on i'm going to connect the power the power cord to this uh, computer you can see there a light a green light that was not there a few seconds ago and allow me a few more seconds to adjust my camera so we can see the monitor we can see the screen so you can see there the logo and um, it didn't ask us for a password so the windows is starting and this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so now i have missed the window to press the escape button so i can access the the, um, the system menu so just reboot the computer and uh, turn it on again and this time i press escape and there you go the startup menu from here don't forget it's the es the escape key on the keyboard so we have to go to computer setup or f10 but i normally like escape better so here we can see the bios we're in the bios itself here i made a mistake guys i didn't realize the camera was not focused i'm going to show you what it says in a few more seconds but i'm sorry it's the first option system information and you just press enter 
So as you can see here is system information. You can see the product name, uh, HP Prodesk 600 G1SFF, the manufacturer, Hewlett Packard, processor type, integrated Mac, chassis serial number, the BIOS version. By the way, I'm going to update the BIOS version for, for this desktop computer. So I'm going to do it next week. So the link is going to be in the video description when I do it. So uh, from here, we, we go to security. You can see the menu a little better now. And from here, what it, what it was configured was the power on password. So this is what, why it was asking us for a password all the time. So as you can see here, it's blank. We don't have a password. We have reset the password when we remove the jumper from the motherboard. All right. So uh, the other th uh, uh, something that is very similar is the setup password. The only difference is that uh, if the setup password is configured, you have access to Windows, but you cannot access the BIOS. If that's your case, doing the same process that we have done is going to reset the setup password as well. Uh, it's a, a great idea to have a password, even though it is for your personal use. And if you're in a company, uh, it's kind of a must. Okay. But here I'm not going to configure it just to show it to you. And then we can, uh, I'm showing you what it says. So system information, and I don't have anything else to do here. And ju I just go to save changes and exit. And yes, because I didn't touch anything. So I disconnected the, the, the power cord. So now we are on the on the motherboard one more time. So here you can see that uh, the power cord is disconnected. So the only thing we have left to do is to put back the jumper. So I'm going to do a close. I'm going to zoom in a little and we are going to look for the two pins. So the two pins are over there. You have to read the, the word password or something like that and we're going to put back the jumper. So I'm pointing the two pins here. Like I mentioned, sometimes uh, there are three pins. So you just have to gently put it back. You don't have to press it or something. Just put it back. That, that's all you need to do. And then if you, if you don't do this, you are going to see a message. Hey, your jumper is off all the time. I mean, you can press enter and don't pay attention, but it's annoying every time you put up the computer. So then we close uh, the cover. Uh, now I'm, go I'm, I'm going to turn on the computer again. I connected to the power cord and you can see the HP logo and we're going to see this screen. And that happens because I turn off Windows just pressing the power button. And of course, that's not good. So just you press enter and Windows is starting one more time. So now we have access to Windows. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.